Right, last video of the day. Uh, 2012, paper twos, bit of probability. We bit of, uh, what is this, line or circle, something like that. So here, two events, and the probability of each event is 0 0.7, 0 0.5, and the intersection B is 0.3. Find A union B. The easiest way to do this is just sketch out your wee Venn diagram. There's your probability of A, your probability of B. When you're filming your Venn diagram, where do you always start? You always start in the middle or the intersection. 0.3. So point three's in there. Total of point A or N A is 0.7, so that must be 0.4. And in B it must be 0.2. If you tally those up, 4 and 3, 7 and 9, it must be 0.1. Because remember, probability all adds up to 1. So find the probability of A union B. A union B is just the two circles united, so just add up those probabilities and you get 0 0.9. Next thing, looking at conditional probability. In order to do, the, to do this, you need to learn off the formula. So the probability of A, given that, that straight down line means given that, in case they do an English version of it, it's the probability of A intersection B over probability of B. This question came up, it has to be a banker, it has to be full marks. It's handy like. Uh, horse and the values then. A intersection B is 0 0.3 over the probability of B, which is 0 0.5. So 3 fifths. And then last one, state whether A and B are independent. Again, once you see independent, you must learn a formula. Probability of A times the probability of B is the probability of A intersection B. So that happens if they're independent. Throw in the values, if one side works out to be the same, they're independent. So probability of A is 0 0.7 times the probability of B is 0 0.5. Is that the same as the intersection, which is 0.3? Put that in your calculator on the left-hand side. They're not equal, therefore not independent. If it was 0.3 equal to 0.3, they're independent. Handy. Right, where we are going. Go on and do the circle one. Question four. So here you've got, firstly, write down the equation of a circle. Two things you need for the equation of a circle is its center and its radius. And they give us that criteria there. So when they give you the center and the radius, there's different formulas. Look at your formula book. The easiest one to me is that x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So look up your wee log tables, your formula book, and it tells you how to use them. Center is hk, your radius r, throw it into that. So x minus minus three, x plus three squared, plus y minus k, y minus two squared is equal to four squared, which is 16. Don't need to multiply it out, as you see every year, just leave it like that. Next one. And they give you the equation of the circle. So if you look at the same page in your formula book, I don't have any with me. I'd love to show you. Same as the coordinate geometry of the line. There's another formula there. x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. And your center on this one is minus g minus f. So... Jesus, why is sun there now? So, work out your... Oh, the hell am I going to do this? Oh, Marcus. Work out your G and your F. So, you just match them up. Um, these match up here. These boys over here match up. So, there we see. We've got our 2. We've got our X. So, what I always do is... Just ignore your x, but 2g is equal to minus 2, g is equal to minus 1, and same over here, ignore your y's, 2f is equal to 4, f is equal to 2, so therefore my center is, remember it's minus g minus f over here, so minus minus 1 is 1, minus so that was from minus g minus f. The radius when you're using that formula is root g 
g squared plus f squared minus c. So horse in your values, root g squared plus f squared minus c minus minus 15. Throw that in your calculator if you're unsure. And we get 1 plus 4 plus 15 root 20. Can't have a negative. So what you've got now is a circle. Your center is 1 minus 2. And your radius is root 20. I wouldn't simplify it down to 2 root 5 like your calculator would do. Just for this next bit coming up. Now, what is this next bit? Find the values for m. For which this line is a tangent. So always draw a wee picture in these. Always work with your center and your radius to take it from there. And we'll start piecing together. Here's my tangent. It touches the circle at one point at a 90 degree angle. mx plus 2y minus 7 is equal to 0. And once we see that, we're working out the value of m. We've got everything in place. So we've got the distance from the center to this line. We've got the perpendicular distance, the right angle of that. And there's a formula from a point to a line. The perpendicular distance from a point to a line is ax1 plus by1 plus c over root a squared plus b squared. That should be your bread and butter. Yeah. Right, if you start labeling your points, your center x1, y1, your line, a is equal to the number in front of x, your coefficient of x, which is m. b is your coefficient of y, and c is the number trailing on at the end. Important point, all terms are on the left-hand side of your equals, or on one side of the equals, so never have it equal to 7. And your distance there is root 20. Throw these in, and we'll be able to work out m. So, root 20, ax1. No, oh, you get that far. We can get rid of the fractions because there's an equals. You simply cross multiply. So bring whatever's below the square root up. So root 20 times root m squared, they just multiply together. So root 20 m squared plus 80. Now you've got a modulus and a square root. How do you get rid of a square root? You square both sides. Once you have these modulus, you do actually have to square it out. And you can see, it's starting to look like the old quadratic. Tidy that up now. 19m squared plus 22m. 80 minus 121 minus 41 equal to 0. Don't fancy solving that today. Throw it into your minus b formula. And hope to God she's right. Minus b plus minus. Bung that all in. Shit. And I got one value there to be one. And the other value minus 41 over 19. And what did they ask? Find the values of m. We're good at those. We're good. Right, that's it.